Good morning. We had this snowstorm in the century overnight. No. It's a little behind schedule. It was supposed to start snowing at like 4 or 5 this morning. Just started in the last half hour or so. It's still supposed to pile up, but I don't think we're going to get as much as they're calling for. We'll see. Be an interesting day. So, it's snowing now, but we don't have enough snow to go and push snow, and it's going to keep snowing for a while. So, uh, And I, I just don't have a whole lot to do in here with the equipment that we have in the shop right now. There's a little bit I could do to the 8300. Dad said the radio wasn't working, so I need to look into that. I might do that a little bit later, but I'm going to go down to my house and work on some stuff. I've got some uh, mirrors to hang. I've got some work to do on the stairs. I've got just a few odds and ends and little things down there that I can work on today, so... It's a good day to do that. So I've got some mirrors that need to get hung up. There's another one right there for, for over here. So we're gonna work on that today. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because I can't quite center it in the opening. I can't quite center it over the sink. I gotta work around the plug and yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but we're gonna figure it out. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna start here. How'd I do? In keeping with my uh, theme of not filming the first time you do something when you're going to do multiples of it, I didn't film that one. So um, we're going to hang the other one over here. I'll show you the process a little bit more. This is a little bit tricky because of poor planning on my part. Like I screwed up, but oh well. So we've got a sink and we've got a cabinet and a window. And I should be centered over the sink, but I should be centered between the cabinet and the window, and the sink is not centered between the cabinet and the window. And then I've got an electrical outlet, and I can't cover that up, and so we're close. We're very close to centered between the cabinet and the window. We are not centered over the sink, and we are right on the edge of cover of where this uh, cover is going to be. Like, I, I got that pretty dang good. That That is just a... It's not actually, but I wanted to know where the edge of the cover is going to be. So, yeah, we're good. That'll work. Now we have to try and match it over here. We have a lot more space between the cabinet and the door than we do over here between the window and the, and the cabinet. Um, but I still have a plug that we have to deal with. And so... Mm, I don't think we can be centered over the sink. I think we're going to have to do the same thing where we hit it just right on the side of where that box cover is going to go. And I don't know where that box cover is going to go because the switch isn't in there. And that makes this a little bit more of a challenge. But we will figure it out, won't we? Well, the first thing we've got to do is open our mirror up. Cut some packaging material. And we'll get it. Okay, so we got it out. They do send some hardware. I'm gonna cut that stuff off. And they've got these fancy hooks, which, I mean, they work, but makes it very difficult to hit a stud with my anchors, which I'm not crazy about. So we've got these that you put on the wall and then they hook on there like that and hold it and they're not super tight but they should hold it so we're doing that so we need to measure um which i already have obviously but uh the height here is i don't know something it's 29 wide that's the important one that i needed to know are we 30 i think we're th no we're maybe 36 35 something 35. We're 35 tall, we're 29 wide. So I came over and in that one I was trying to lay stuff out, but now we're just matching it. So we are eight inches above our countertop, which is this mark right there, right there. And then I measured up 35 from there, which puts us at this mark for the top of the mirror, down three and a quarter to right there, which is where the top of this bracket needs to be. This part right here. It's three and a quarter down from here. So now we need to measure in from the edge, but we got to figure out where that edge is going to be. 
And that's what I got to come back to this electrical outlet. So I'm going to, without the switch in there, it's hard to put a cover over it. I don't have any double covers here. Unless I take one off of somewhere else. And I don't know if there are any anywhere. But anyway, we need to figure out where this edge is going to be of that, co of that electrical box. So you know how new houses are perfect and square and everything's straight? Look at this. Look at this. So I found a mark. I put I put up I put an outlet in there and I found a cover and I tried to find it. And so I'm trying to transfer this mark right there up to here where I need to be able to measure to get to my edge where I'm gonna hang my bracket. Look at this. When I put the level on there. What in the actual, are you kidding me? That's like three quarters of an inch out of, oh, it's not even close. It's not even close. That is, oh. Well, at any rate, I got a line transferred up here and I marked, here's my, uh, height line i stuck the level up there and marked it over here and over here and i measured in three quarters of an inch from the side which is basically this measurement and then i held my bracket up there like so and put the corner here right on that and that and we marked the holes unfortunately there's no stud there but uh we're gonna we're gonna drill and I hate using these drywall anchors, but it would take a lot of effort to build my own bracket like this that would go all the way across there that you could hit the studs. So as much as I don't like it, I'm gonna drill the holes and put the anchors in. Okay, so then I put one of my brackets up there and I actually anchor it and I use my little level to make sure that it's level. I'm dang close to it. And then we're gonna use the bigger level if it'll fit, yeah. And use that one to double check our line over here and hold the bracket up and get it in exactly the right spot so that we can make sure that our frame is level when we're done. Okay, got our holes marked. There is some adjustment in these slots, so it doesn't have to be super perfect until we go to tighten it up. And before we drill, ooh, we're gonna check for a stud. We're right on the edge of it. Like I think one of those is gonna hit the stud, the other one is not, so that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. We're gonna drill a small hole in both of them. We'll see what we hit here, we'll see what we hit here. Probably end up drilling this one out, putting an anchor in that one, and this one, will, hopefully maybe we can angle it a little bit, we'll hit the edge of that stud. And that's exactly what happened. We hit a stud with this one. We did not there, so I put the anchor in that one. Now we can put our bracket on. Okay. Now we can hang our mirror up there and see if it holds. I mean, that one screw in the stud is probably enough to hold the whole mirror, but keep it level and everything should be good and we'll hopefully match. Oh, wait, wait, one more thing. So this mirror comes with brackets to mount it either horizontally or vertically. Obviously we're using the vertical, so I'm taking the horizontal ones off. This one probably doesn't matter. That one would make it not sit flush against the wall, so. Okay, I think we did okay there. They have a little screw. I don't know if I can show you this or not. Uh, not quite. You can see our bracket there. There is a screw on the end of it to keep it from sliding. So there's one on the outside here and one on the outside there that keep it from sliding either way. So it's locked into place. Now they just need cleaned. And the electrician's finished and they gotta set the backsplash on the countertop yet. And yeah, yeah, yeah. My job's done. Now they, the reason that I needed to do these and we can take them down um, to get them out of the way when we're working in here, but they have to set the vanity lights up here and they needed to know the height on the mirrors. And they're gonna need to know where to put them and center those with the mirrors probably. I don't know, it kinda looks weird, but this one's actually pretty dang close to centered with the sink, so that's good. There, I got another one done. This is our little half bath. And 
I hit a stud with this one too. So this is the same type of bracket, just a single and it's wide. And that side was right in the stud and this side wasn't, so uh, it's it's good. It's a little bit small. I had to mount it a little bit lower than I was. Oops, because, yeah, um, mm -hmm. it's cutting my head off. But it's also pretty high from the bottom and I have short children, so we compromised. Ah, all of those were practice for this one. This one's a big one and a challenge for the double vanity in here. Let's get it opened up. This one is the same as the first two. Uses a, those cleats, one on each side. I've got one of them up there. Um, I need to get our six foot level. It's too long for my four foot to get a nice level thing there. So I'm a little concerned this mirror's not gonna be big enough. And mostly because it's got such wide um, edges. Cause the, ed the outside edge of the mirror is gonna be right here, but there's three inches of frame. So it's not going to start mirror until like the middle of the sinks and it's going to be the same on both. So I don't know. This one is getting centered uh, in the countertop in the sinks uh, that were outside of that plug. So it, it works. If that plug wasn't there, we could have gotten a wider mirror would have been a little bit better, but I think this is the problem. Anyway, it's also lunchtime. So I'm going to go grab something to eat, see how bad the roads are. It is still snowing. It's not horrible. I'll show you when we get outside and you can actually see something. Um, but it's going to get worse, it looks like. Well, it's starting to add up. It's not, I mean, I don't know, we've had an inch maybe. The roads are snow covered, but they're not horrible. All right, I'm back for lunch and I am finished hanging mirrors. Check that fancy one out. I need to get an eraser and erase my pencil marks off the wall up there, but uh, yeah, that'll work. It's a little low. It's a little, little low, eye level, but I mean the people that use that are going to be short, so it'll be fine. We can always raise it a little bit if we need to, but this will at least give the electrician the uh, heights that we can set uh, vanity lights and do that. The wiring is all there behind that uh, wall and there's a switch that's uh, going to be tied into the switch over here. Um, for that light, that outlet again kind of in the way, which is why we've got the funky diamond shape mirror but we couldn't put it on this wall because there's a pocket door there and so you can't have a box in that wall so it had to go there it wasn't a whole lot of choice and that mirror fits it well so that works and i got the big one done in here and it looks pretty good this one's a little bit higher like i can almost see the top of my head um but again the boys are short and gonna be for a while and if we need to raise it eventually we can raise it so like i said it's Problem is the bottom starts sort of high and it, yeah, it is what it is. We needed a little bit taller one there or smaller frame something, but it's up, it's level and it's gonna stay there. I did get the uh, stain put on these steps back over the weekend. I think I told you that, but I haven't shown you yet. Um, I intend to today put the um, floor finish on the uh, epoxy stuff so uh, they need to be cleaned wiped down tack cloth and then we can finish all the walnut around the outside and all the steps and I did sand the treads lightly scuffed them so we're gonna put a whole new coat of finish all the way across there I had sanded down the edges of the bullnosing to try and get it nice and smooth and level and I think everything is pretty good and then the boys came and walked on them yesterday and got footprints all over my steps. So we gotta wipe those down and then we'll, we'll put a coat of finish on. It only needs like two hours before it dries and then I can put the second coat on and we're gonna try and do them both today. But I don't wanna, I'm gonna be working in here and I don't wanna get dust and stuff around it well, so I'm gonna wait as long as I can. Changed my mind, I started doing some math and figuring out uh, how long I needed stuff to dry and remembered that I have to go home early tonight because it's my wife's birthday. And I thought, eh, maybe I better, start putting this floor coating on now so that it's got time to dry so I can get a second coat on tonight and then maybe we'll come and do a third one first thing in the morning. So we are going to uh, not mix up a whole jug because we are no way we're gonna use a whole thing up. So we're gonna mix up a quart at a time. This has handy dandy quart marks on the side as does how much of the uh, hardener you need. So that makes it easy. And it's got a long enough pot life that if I don't use it all up the first time, we can use it up on the second coat. 
Okay, I got the first coat on. You can see there's some stuff on those edges where it really turned white. It's not really any thicker there. I wonder if it's reacting with some of the glue and sawdust stuff that I put on there. It should dry clear, um, but we'll find out here in a little bit, I guess. But I got them coated. I used a little over half of that thing, but I did all the step faces that had already been done. I just sanded them a little bit, so um, I think I can make what's left. Give them a second coat, and we won't have to mix up any more or waste any. So you can see it's super shiny and wet down there where I just finished, and it's pretty well dry up here already. Satin finish, so it's not going to have any gloss to it once it's, uh, or at least not much gloss, once it's uh, dried. And we need to give it about two hours. It's 2.30, so around 4.30, right before I leave, I can put another coat on there. All right, what's next? I need to come down to the farm to get some screws to work on my next project. The snow is, um, it's, it's coming. Things are turning white. I can still see some grass. Still in the water pockets where they're from the rain line. We had like two tenths of an inch of rain last night before this turned to snow. However, the snow removal process has begun. Phil. Scraping driveways. Okay, so next project here. Oh, we got this weird cabinet here in the corner of our laundry room. And that is for some fancy drying rack that my wife picked out because apparently you can't put clothes in the dryer. I I don't know. I'm I don't understand. But we've got something that needs to hang in here. And my builder, when I sent them the specs on the cabinet, they got the size of it right. They did not, however get the construction of it right. And this is quarter inch plywood on the top and that is not gonna support what we're gonna hang from it. And so they made me up this piece of three quarter inch and some uh, cleats and we need to take these and screw them up on both sides here. And then we'll take that plywood and screw it up into the bottom of those. So, that's the plan. Now I need to figure out which way do these go. That way or that way. I'll do a little measuring. Okay, that piece is in. We need to caulk the gaps and do a little touch-up painting, I guess. But it looks better than all of their screws they put in there that aren't even in a straight line. So, you know, what do you do? Um, Alright, so the drying rack thing is out here in the garage. It is what is in... Uh, that box and that box and there's directions in there somewhere and we got a lot of stuff to put together but i'm gonna pull it apart and start working on it i guess we're gonna work on this in here where i got these saw horses because it'll be easier and i have them in here because i was finishing that there's our mantle a few of you guys asked about that a while ago um, i did not build it dad did not build it our, our builders built it but they didn't finish it. They left it to me and I stained it the same as the floor. It is white oak. It's simple, basic, square. It's exactly what my wife asked for. I don't know if she likes it or not, but it's what she asked for. So they're going to install it for us. And uh, yeah, but we're going to, yeah, we're going to use our saw horses that I had. All right, well, we're making progress. So we got these two brackets, one in the front, one in the back, and they are what support this. And then these um, slides hook on there. And now we gotta build the rack, the frame, and then slide it into there. So I got I, I got that in. I think everything is good. Seems to be. So here's what the frame is supposed to look like. Rods for hanging clothes on. And we attached the uh, inside piece of that slide on there. So I think we're ready to go hang this one up. Let's see if I did it right. I guess that's what she wants. It pulls out, you hang your clothes on there, push it in and let them dry. There's no door, there's no bottom. Yeah, all right, whatever. I mean, I would just throw them in the dryer and push the button, but that's me, what do I know, so. Uh, four o'clock, so we've got three more of those frames to build out, so i keep working on them, I guess. Done. All four of them in there. Pull out nice. I guess. There you go. So all that's done. I'm going to clean up my tools a little bit. It is after 4.30, so we can put our second coat on them steps, and then I'm probably going to get out of here. 
Man, these look really good. So you can see that whiteness went away when they dried here. And I'm really, really happy with them. So we're gonna hit another coat on. And uh, it's, it's not super smooth, but it's not really rough. I don't mind it, especially on steps. You don't want it to be the smoothest. And those are much smoother where it's the fourth coat essentially. So um, <clears throat> the rest of it will get better. Anyway, away we go. I am, I know, I'm using this little mini roller. It works really well. And uh, I know I tried to roll her when I was doing the floor and I didn't like it, didn't work real well, but it's actually working pretty well here. And somebody commented on it that a roller is a terrible idea on the floors like that. However, uh, if you watch the instructional videos from the company that makes this floor finish, they use rollers. And so that's why I had gotten them and wanted to try it as it was. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. Just about done with the second coat. My bucket's about empty. Just enough to pour on the last step. That worked out well. So it leaves it just a little bit rough looking right away, but it does not take long for it to smooth out. And I don't know, I like it. It's good. One more step. Done for now. Tonight, we'll look at them again in the morning and see if we want to put another coat on them or not. I think we probably will. Probably do two because I'll mix up another quart and I had enough to do two coats with one quart this today. So we'll probably do it tomorrow again. A um, uh, couple of questions about the well. Yes, the well is finally hooked up. They came back on Monday and finished uh, the stuff outside and wired it up in here. So we have water pressure to the valve here that needs to get connected to there. But we do have a little spigot that I can get stuff out to uh, wash my rollers and brushes and that stuff or hook a hose up here if I wanted to. So that is good. And yeah, hopefully the plumbers will show up soon, but doubt it this week with the weather. Hmm. Well, it's starting to add up, I guess. Yeah, we got a couple of inches, three, four maybe. Ugh. My door's frozen shut. Oops. The wind is starting to pick up and it's starting to drift. And that is going to be the problem. I honestly don't think we're going to get as much snow as they had talked about because I think it stayed too wet and warm for too long. So we may get, I don't know, maybe we'll get 10. 12 inches of snow out of this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we're still going to get 20. I don't know. It just seems like it's not as bad as what they had claimed it was going to be there for a while. So, um, yeah. Who knows what tomorrow brings? If I had to guess, we're going to spend at least part of the day pushing snow. Backhoe's still gone, but that tractor there, which I would prefer that one anyway. It's got a bigger bucket. It's faster. Um, so, uh, that would be my guess for part of the day. Otherwise, maybe I'll keep working down in my uh, house there. That's a good thing to do on days like today. So thanks for watching. I know it was different. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions and comments, leave them down below. Oh, do you guys remember in yesterday's video when I told you to send my hate mail to my email address? Well, I got some and I'm going to share it with you because it's hilarious in my mind. Don't worry, John. I'll blur out your last name and your email address so that not everybody can see who you are. But, um, man, if you can't take a joke between me and Brock, you know, who works for me and gives it back just as much, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it was a joke. But, see ya. Just shake my head. That's all I do. Shake my head. Bye, everybody.